Hey guys, what's up? Chris Rod, Sun City Lawn Care. Uh, today, soil sample, that's what we're talking about. Okay, so I had, uh, haven't done a soil sample in two years in my own backyard, but every year, if you don't know what you're doing or you're just getting started with lawn care um, or you're just getting started with, you know, some gardening, you've got to get an idea of what kind of nutrients you need to put in your soil or what kind of nutrients you don't need to put in your soil. And the only way that you guys can get to that point is by conducting a soil test. <clears throat> okay, the way you do a soil test is you got to get a soil test in the first place. You can order some from Amazon, okay? Um, you can get some from some lawn care professionals out there. You can call your local uh, university. They they conduct soil samples as well, or soil tests, I should say. Give me one second. And uh, call them up and say you need a soil sample. What they will do <clears throat> is they will mail you something like this, okay? It's a little packet. That one's got my information, which I'm not gonna show here, but little packets, got a form you can fill out, okay? This is from the Texas A&M AgriLife Extension Urban and Homeowner Soil Sample Information Form. <laughs> Very basic stuff to fill out here. And then you get down to the sample information. You gotta put in some details about the kind of soil sample you're pulling, whether it be from a lawn, from a garden, and then you get to select um, what kind of plant you're growing, what kind of, vet, you know, whether it's a lawn or vegetable garden or even trees for that matter. And then you get to request what kind of analysis you want. So in this particular case, I'm going to be doing a routine analysis down here. I just look at their routine analysis and it's number one. So I check off box number one, send a check of money order. In this case, this is a very cheap, um, inexpensive way to take a soil test. Okay. I've done some 35, $40 soil samples before, um, that gives me an extensive amount of information, but here $12 basically going to give you your pH levels, um, your nitrogen, your phosphorus, your potassium, calcium, magnesium, your, um, and your sulfur there and your sodium conductivity as well. $12 a sample. You simply fill out the form, then they give you this cool little bag. Okay. It's got instructions on the bag. Be very, you know, read it comprehend it if you got questions about it ask somebody call them back ask them how to do it if you really don't understand this simple stuff you can use a spade a shovel you want to get a soil sample that's about six six eight inches deep okay i use a tool like this this is a this, this is going to pull a core for me okay i can push it down with the t-handle here and get really deep depending on um uh, how loose the soil is or you know even how saturated it is if you've got a good amount of water like you just got through water in that morning it may be saturated where you can pull a good core out of it um and then you, you just put it inside the bag okay but before you put your samples in the bag because in this particular soil test it's asking for 10 to 20 different um samples from your lawn or your garden area which you're more than welcome to do if you want to go ahead and do that if you're using a tool like this you're simultaneously going to be aerating the lawn as well if you pull 10 to 20 cores okay it's not an extensive aeration it's not a mechanical or a liquid by no means but after you get your samples you're going to find um you're, you need to put them in a bag okay get a brand new ziploc bag or get an empty clean sanitized bucket um just rinse it out with water don't use bleach or anything like that because the chlorine you know that could just throw off your sample test give you a reading you don't need necessarily on chlorine levels um ph pH levels can be thrown, thrown off as well if you go down that road. Um, so back to what I was saying before my camera just fell off my little tripod there is um, after you put your samples, I'm only doing three, I'm pulling three cores, okay? I'm putting them inside this bag. You're gonna mix them up really good. You know, you can uh, you, you can remove the grass roots or grass blades, dirt, weeds, remove that stuff. You don't need that, you know, to be sent to, your, to the lab. Um, after you mix it together, then you can put it inside of the little brown bags that they give you. Okay, very easy. Uh, fill out the form, get your samples done. Let's go. Uh, let's go pull a core real quick. Show you guys how I use this tool. Okay, I'm gonna come over to this side. I do. Uh, I've already pulled some cores, and I'll show you the cores here in a second. But I've pulled one from the far side of the uh, lawn and one closer this way, and. Now we're just gonna pull one from the grass area here. 
And these tools are really, really easy to use. Again, if you don't have one of these, you can simply use a spade. The only difference is you're gonna be pulling up your turf just to get to the soil, which is, if you don't mind a little hole, that's okay. And there you go. Six inches right there, okay guys? Then you just take the sample out. Um, when you guys are doing this, just be careful. You don't want to start grabbing that stuff with your bare hands. Now, not that it's bad, but you want to minimize any kind of cross-contamination from your digits to your samples, okay? So what I've done, like I said, is I've already pulled a couple cores here, and I've got three cores from three different parts of the yard. And uh, let's talk about these real quick while I got them here. It, you know, this is one core here. Let me get over here. <clears throat> what we're looking at is essentially a, a core that's got some good color. Okay, it's nice and dark. Okay, when I break this up, it's, you know, it holds together well. And that's because I add a lot of nutrients to my soil system here. Humic acid, sea kelp, the whole shebang. But what I'm really interested in, and what you guys should be interested in too, when you're pulling your cores, if you're using a core puller, a plugger, is your thatch layer. So all this was the soil, okay? And that was probably two inches and beyond. Good, good, good soil, okay? But what we're looking at right here, see if I can zoom in on that. this grass okay so you got the grass crowns coming up right here and then you've got this spongy material that i'm slowly spreading apart that is the thatch layer right there okay let me see if i can pull these off here you see the grass roots at the bottom there nothing crazy we're not in growing season but this thatch layer you don't want this to be you know really thick okay this is why it's so important to aerate guys either you're either doing a liquid aeration or a, a core aeration but you know anything more than this what's going to happen is you're going to prevent your nutrients from dropping down past that thatch layer and getting into the soil this is the importance of aeration okay when i start taking this stuff apart it's just grassroots and that's it this is again the bottom that's it, residing in the soil that is your thatch layer so it's nothing too crazy we're not thick over here on our thatch layer and it's funny because it looks like little tiny fibers of dog hair but it it's just simply the grass and it's decomposing state but anyways guys um your samples so i just really um uh, touched this with my hands right but the the core that I just pulled, that I showed you that I pulled, is the one that I'm gonna throw inside the bag. Take your samples, you can remove the grass if you want, put them inside your baggie, your clean bucket, mix all that together, fill up your test bags, send it off to the lab. Once you get your results, then you're gonna know whether you need to put down more nitrogen, more phosphorus, more potassium. What I can tell you from experience is that here in El Paso, our soils are typically high in pH, so you need to add uh, a soil amendment to bring down the pH. And then two, if you guys say, for example, are Milorganite fans, um, you're gonna have a have really high phosphorus, okay? And what's to be understood about that is you only need so much phosphorus in your soil system. And if your pH, or I'm sorry, if your phosphorus is too high, for example, it's gonna inhibit the other nutrients from soaking into the plant or the grass. So you have to utilize a fertilizer that doesn't have any phosphorus, okay? Which is that um, that middle number on the bags you see a fertilizer. So anyways, that's the importance of taking a soil sample. I've got some work to do. I need to pull some cores from our garden this season. I've got three different um, samples I'm gonna be sending off, but y'all stay tuned. I'll show you guys the update to my own soil samples here within the next week or two, whenever the lab results come back. But if you got any questions, let me know. Ciao.